gonna try making homemade crunch wraps for the first time. So I've got probably about half a pound of hamburger cooking off. I'm gonna add my taco seasoning into the meat and then I'm gonna stuff lettuce in my crunch wrap. I would do tomatoes too, but I'm actually out right now. Uh, I've got some onion here and some nacho cheese we're gonna throw in there of course uh, with my tostadas and my soft shells as well and I'm gonna stuff them to everyone's liking and kind of fry them off you guys will see me do that and I'll show you guys the end product of course I ended up just cutting a slit about halfway down one side of the tortilla and then I was filling up each corner with desired toppings and then I just folded it over on itself how I ended up putting the tostadas in is I just actually broke them apart and put in the pieces. So I think next time I might even just not buy tostadas and just do tortilla chips. And then I just threw them all into a skillet. Here are some of the finished products I already handed the kids out there. And I just cut the kids kind of in half. So my two oldest girls are sharing one and then this is the second half of my one year olds. And I just cut his into smaller pieces. And then uh, we had also had a request for baked beans. Kind of a random combo, but it is what it is. That's what they wanted, so baked beans. So the, these are just the kids' pieces. Just cut a little bit smaller for them. It's kind of like a really fat quesadilla. I didn't show you guys me making dinner because it's pretty straightforward. Sloppy Joe's, we top ours with cheese. Uh, we're from Wisconsin and we top pretty much everything with cheese. I have sweet potato fries and corn. I had to make some regular fries for whoever wants them. Um, I used a manwich can to make my sloppy joe sauce, but I do know you can make your own sloppy joe uh, like mixture with ketchup and actually grape jelly. My mother-in-law does that. I've done that a couple times in the past <laughs> when it's towards the end of the month and I kind of ran out of stuff because we only grocery shop once a month. So I haven't made that before. Um, I just kind of eyeball it and do it to taste and then I'll throw in like onion powder and garlic powder um, and that's how I'll make my own sloppy joe mix and then you guys saw the corn but that's what we're going to do for dinner tonight. I'm going to throw in a crock pot meal this morning. I like doing that when I'm doing uh, get it all done with me because it's at the end of the day I don't want to cook. I'm sure a lot of us can relate to that. So I've got some of these chicken breasts left. This is an eight pound bag I got from Aldi last month and I still have some left so I'm gonna throw in these chicken breasts. I should probably tell you what I'm making. I'm making like a baked taco. I'll insert a picture here. I saw this on Pinterest or Facebook. Saw it somewhere and I'm like that sounds easy enough. So I make this exact filling all the time when I make chalupas, enchiladas, uh, chicken tacos. So I'm just gonna do my version of it. I'm going to show you guys what that is. So I'm going to drop in a handful of chicken breasts here. I've got some stuff I'm cleaning out of my fridge. <sighs> so I've got probably a cup, maybe uh, less than a cup, a little more than a cup of this mild cheddar cheese. I'm going to throw this in as well as probably half a block of cream cheese. I just want to use it up before they start to go bad. I've had them in my fridge all month long. So these chicken tacos, I ended up throwing in just a couple chicken breasts, a little bit of cream cheese, and our taco seasoning. Threw that in my crock pot, turned it on high, and let it cook for four hours. If you had more time, you could definitely do this on low. If you want to do it more of an all day thing, totally could do that. And I actually had some leftover rice in my refrigerator that I ended up throwing in my crock pot as well just at the end. You could also throw in corn or beans or whatever your desired toppings are. And right at the end, I threw in a good amount of cheese. Uh, you can do your che cheese of choice, say that five times fast. I ended up doing just mild cheddar. And of course, once that was done, I stuffed them in my hard shell taco shells and put them in the oven at 300 just until they were crisp. When I pulled them out of the oven, I let them sit for a handful of minutes to kind of re-stiffen themselves. And these were really, really good. We just topped these with our desired toppings, ate these, and they were delicious. My husband said that they were a 10 out of 10. All right, so this is a recipe I've shared a handful of times on my channel. This is a baked potato soup. 
You just start with a handful of your potatoes of choice. We're using baking potatoes today. Um, of course, wash your potatoes, bring them over, cut them up. You can do celery, carrots, whatever your heart desires in this soup. We usually stick to just three carrots, onion, um, sometimes we throw in broccoli if we're looking for a little bit more of a vegetable or peas, kind of whatever your jam is. So once I cleaned and diced all my carrots, my celery, my potatoes, my onion, I just went ahead and dumped that in my crock pot with some spices, my water, and um, turned that bad boy on, let it sit for a while, and that's pretty much that. I think I threw in four cups of water, four or six cups of water, um, typically I do six when I do soups that just seems to be the amount of broth we like and of course I dumped in my spices Laurie's pepper a little bit of basil And of course my chicken soup base of course you could do vegetable soup base as well if you were vegan or vegetarian These are the spices I throw in mine a little bit of basil I use chicken broth base and a little bit of Laurie's I'm also going to be adding in about six cups of water to my crock pot. Here are all the vegetables in it. And then when it's done, or when it's close to being done, I also throw in a thing of turkey bacon in the oven. And I'll cook my turkey bacon in the oven, chop it up, and then whoever wants will add turkey bacon to the top of theirs. I've also done ham cubes, or if we have leftover ham from the holidays, I'll make this to throw that in as well. I'm also gonna be throwing in an onion in here. I forgot to chop that up, so I'm gonna do that and throw that in here as well. And then I just turn it on. It's a little before 11, so I'm actually gonna turn this on high because potatoes take a little bit of time to cook. So that's what I'm doing. This is the finished soup here and we're eating ours with some budget bread I just pulled out of my freezer. Whoever wants will top theirs with bacon, cheese, and sour cream. Alrighty, last one here, you guys. We ended up doing KFC bowls. I got this recipe from Katie Mack here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below if I can remember. <laughs> I always say I'm gonna do that and then I never do. But I just took a bag of popcorn chicken and I cheated and used pre-made mashed potato packets. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and it